to demonstrate a possible fall. Okay. As he comes up and launches, and if I lose my balance and my arms aren't straight, his head can hit me right in the nose. Okay. So as the base, your arms are straight all the time. Definitely have your arms engaged and ready at all times. And if you feel like they are falling backwards this time, drop your legs so they can fall forward more. Try not to push them overhead, okay? Watch the hands. See how it grabs it? What's one way that they oftentimes miss grab it? Sometimes they'll grab it. Like here? Yeah. Then your arms are in the way. Yeah. Or they try to use grab, the Yeah. It's wrapped around. Then it totally doesn't work. Yeah. Around, front, front, and out. And then just hop and get your hips over your shoulders. Get your hips over your shoulders. See just that? Like that. And the cannon's loaded. And on three, I just pull a little bit more through my hands and launch my legs out. That's when we're ready to go. One, two, three. And I'm pushing at the same time. There you go. It's called a cannonball mount. And for the flyer, one warm up you can do is lean on back, Bill, and grab my feet just like you're loading the cannon. And just, just practice pulling yourself up. It's engaging your shoulders and your arms. Just get your arms engaged. You get that feeling, okay? And then the base, you can help support a little, but you want to help, but don't hinder, okay? Help them uh, get as much of that warm up as possible to get that strength and understand what's going on. And two, one, Bill locks the cannon. He locks it, he brings his knees towards his chest, and we count together, because we work together to make this happen, okay? Two, one, and up. Push. Grab it. Mm -hmm.